Alexa, turn on the garage door. Okay. Puppy, puppy, puppy. Just wanted to show you that it works. Okay, YouTube, just a quick overview of what I have here. This is for my Casa app and Alexa, so Alexa can control my garage. Now, obviously, you need one of those uh, K TP Link plugs. They're like 30 bucks. Amazon Prime. All this is is a 3300 3, microfarad capacitor, a 270 ohm resistor, a 24 volt AC Omron. Um, Relay. Now, I only did this one. You could use smaller relays. The coil volt or impedance is, I think, 210, 220 ohms coil resistance. So if you do this, if you plug this thing, okay, so basically, I'm sorry, I'm just going ahead. Plus 12 goes here, charges it, and then it turns this on while it's charging the capacitor. In this case, I have it set for about three seconds, three, four seconds, whatever. And you basically control it, put your garage connected on one of these top posts, which will click, uh, which will basically, you basically take the two wires, splice into each one, boom, boom. It's a short, that's all it does. It's the same thing as you pushing the switch for a momentary connection. Now, just so you know, this is a 24 volt AC. I'm using 12 volt DC. These relays do work with it. Keep in mind, if you're going to redo this, you need to know what the impedance is or just do uh, the impedance of the coil for a 12 volt DC is. 12 volt uh, DC does work on the 24 volt AC relay. Probably takes a little bit more power. Oh well, I don't care. Um, anyway, so this just turns it on, goes to ground, that's it. This resistor here is a 270 ohm. So it, uh, basically, it discharges the capacitor when your TP link shuts this off. And without this, your capacitor will stay charged and when you try to toggle it again, it won't work. So basically, on. See how it just clicked over and off. Your your garage is now opening. Now on your app, it's gonna have a green light saying that it's on. And basically you have to toggle it off, which is the same thing as the unplug. Now, um, because the capacitor does take like three, four seconds to discharge, you have to wait three to four seconds. Now you have to push the button again to toggle to make the garage close. And that's it. That's all you gotta do. Now there are, you can do two relays. Um, side by side and um, you can actually make it so you don't have to toggle it that way this was just easier and I'm gonna show you the install in a little bit okay YouTube I already installed so this is your your garage switch right see how it has the two wires but when I did I followed it and I mean you gotta keep in mind I just got into this place the installation followed it there you can see my TP Link smart switch, and then that thing's plugged in. I spliced into this wire, and hold on. Now, if you look, aside from all this, see, I took the two wires, okay, I spliced into it. Now, if you look at the module, see how I have one wire there, one wire there. So basically, that's I mean, all I did is I spliced it. There's nothing this can short on, so it can sit fine right there, but you wanna make sure there's no metal, nothing for it to short on. And all I did is I took the two wires and I connected it straight to it. I had to use a wire nut on one, I used a crimp on the other. And then, yeah, so all that does, it's the same as you pushing the button over there. When you push the button, it just shorts these two wires. So it doesn't, by doing it this way, you don't disable the garage switch. So I can still open and close from the garage. I can still open and close from my remote. And I can now do it through my Casa app. If you have questions, just post comments. I know, <laughs> honestly, I, it, it's just been late and I haven't been able to make the video like all super awesome. But yeah, if you have questions or anything, feel free to ask. I can send you all the links of everything you need and even give you a better descriptive of the diagram on how to wire this. And unfortunately, I can't record my phone, record, recording my phone, recording my phone, double record my phone to show you that it does work. But yeah, I can do it and I can also tell Alexa to do it. So there you have it.